Our pastors are in position. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big BN. Amen. Yes, amen. Where we honor God, we love families, we serve others, and we pursue excellence. Amen. Yes. Bienvenidos a la iglesia del comienzo. So we want to welcome all our NBC family, all those of you, all our visitors, and all of you that are watching by audio and video. Amen. Prepare yourselves to receive. God has something for you. Amen. And don't let him go. Just say, no, you got something for me, and I want it. I need it. Amen. So yes, praise God. Amen. We're going to be talking about when trouble comes. Mm -hmm. You know, comes is plural. Yes. <laughs> when trouble comes, and it comes to all of us, saved and unsaved. Amen. So if you're not being in trouble, <laughs> it's because <laughs> maybe he's got you already. But troubles will come. Amen. Yeah. So let's remember this. Amen. Leave change. Be a new you. God is not finished with you. He's got great plans for you. Yes. None of them, Amen. none of them, none of them include defeat. Amen. Amen. So God wants to use you. If he's not using you, it's because you're not making yourself available. You need to be available. Yes. Amen. Amen. Be, be ready and stay ready. I got to, well, let's, uh, before we uh, get too far ahead, let's make this declaration together. Are we there? There we go. All right. Praise God. Woo. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I voted your fist. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. Stay ready. When troubles come. Amen. I've got a couple of nuggets I want to read to you first. And it goes something like this. When you face your troubles every day. Facing your troubles every day. And they're going to be there. Yeah. Amen. It says, don't let your troubles of cares, fears, sickness, problems, or lack defeat you. Defeating them doesn't depend on your abilities. Jesus has already defeated them. Yes. Amen. Yes. The fight, <laughs> you fight a spiritual battle daily, and God has given his church, the body of Christ, spiritual weapons. Use them. Don't let them or these troubles and cares take your victory away from you. Amen. Each and every day they're going to try to steal from you. The enemy, the Bible says the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Amen. So don't let these things, don't let it steal it from you. Amen. You got to stand your ground. Amen. And take authority. Say, so submit yourself to God, resist the enemy, and he has to go. Amen. But he's going to come. Troubles will come. Amen. But it says believe it, receive it, act on it, and press on. We have to press on, children of God. Amen. We're, the, we're marching on. We're soldiers of God. Soldiers march, and we march forward. We march. We Amen. press forward, not backwards. We don't Amen. go back. We press forward. Amen. Ooh, that's a good one right there. Thank you, Lord. And another one here, quick. He says, "Stand on a rock, and you will not fall." I'm standing on the rock. I'm standing on. Him. Amen. Praise God. When your life is founded on the rock, you will not fall. It may feel as if your life is falling apart. But if but if you stand on the rock, you will not fall. Let the winds of adversity, those troubles, uh, uh, blow. Let the rains of accusations fall upon you. Let the floods of fear take its best shot. Yes. You will not be moved because your faith is in Jesus. Amen. And he's the author and the finisher of our faith. Amen. He is able to make you stand in the center of a rainstorm. Floods. And the, when things are flooding. Amen. The flood waters are coming. And raise you up. Yes. Amen. When the winds are there. You shall not be moved. I shall not be moved. That's an awesome song. I shall not be moved. I'm going to stand on him. Regardless. Amen. Woo. Praise God. Thank you Lord. Well today we're going to be talking about what troubles come. And like I said, they will come. Amen. Yes. You just gotta be ready. <laughs> yes. it says when the troubles, when when the trouble storms of life come, let go and let God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Give it to him. Amen. He says to cast it on him. That means we gotta give it to him. Not some of it. He says, give it all to him. Amen. Amen. Give it all to him. Psalms 86 7 says this. It says, In the day of trouble, I will call upon you, for you will answer me. Yes. Amen, children of God, you got to know and have faith in Him. <laughs> when you call on Him, He's going to answer. It's not maybe or what or when. He will answer. He's our Heavenly Father, and He will answer you. Yes. You got to have faith to know Him that He always comes through. 
Psalms 87, uh, 6, uh, 86, 7 says, In the day of trouble, and there will be a day of trouble, you know. But the Bible says, each and every day, it says, This is the day the Lord has given, and I will rejoice I and be glad in it, yes. regardless of what troubles are coming, yes. regardless of what situations that it is, you know. Still, I want to stand strong, and I want to rejoice and be glad. Why? Because I know He's there. Because I know he's back to me. Because I know he's with me. He says he never leaves me nor forsakes me. He's right there with me. So I'm pressing on regardless of what I'm Amen. facing or what's facing me. Amen. I'm going to press on. Woo. John uh, 16, 33 says this. Let me see. Well, we, okay. When trouble calls, I will call on the Lord. Psalms 86, 7. Man, that's great. Keep going. Amen. Got some good ones for you. Amen. Oh, yeah. You're going to call God. So, God's phone number, Jeremiah 33 and 3, <laughs> says, yes. call, call to me, and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. He says to call him. Yeah. Amen. Are you, are, are you calling him? Well Amen. If, if you're calling him, he's going to answer, but you've got to receive when he calls back. Because he's going to call back. Amen. He says, I'm knocking, but nobody's home. You need to say, yes, Lord, here I am. You know, last week we talked about, send me, Lord. Well, he's going to call. He's calling. He says, I'm sending you. And you got to say, yes, Lord, I'm ready. Amen. So stay ready, child of God. Amen. John 6, 6, 16, 33 in the New King James says this. And these things I have spoken unto you, that in me you will have peace. In the world you will have tribulations. You will have troubles. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Amen. Amen. And we can do all things through Christ. We can have overcome the world through Him. Amen. Here we go. It says, These things I have spoken unto you, that in that in me ye might have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have yeah, overcome amen. the Lord, world. Amen. And yeah. it's going to come against you. But guess what? Guess who's with me? <laughs> He's with me. He's not, he hasn't gone anywhere. He's right there with me. Amen. In the easy to read version, listen, it is. John 16, 33. I have told you these things so that you could have peace in me. Yes. It says, in this world, you will have troubles. But be brave. I have defeated the world. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So can we. Yeah. We can do what he did. Amen. All we need to do is get the word in us and start pressing on. And confessing the word, amen. Confessing means you got to say something. You can't stay silent. You got to confess what the word of God says. Yep. And I know he's going to back his word, amen. Mm -hmm. He backs his word. So the enemy says, submit yourself to God, resist the devil, take authority. And he's got to go. Mm -hmm. He's got to flee. Anything, those things coming against you. I said, wait a minute. That's not what the word of God says. I'm going to confess the word. And I'm going to press on. In the things of God. Amen. And confess the things of God. Huh. Trouble comes to all people. Save and unsaved. So don't, just don't sit down and say. Well you know. If I sit. Trouble comes. If I get up and do something. <laughs> trouble comes. Yeah. Oh I'm not going to do something. Well you know. He also talked about. Hot and cold and lukewarm. Uh -huh. If you just don't be lukewarm. And please do the world. And please try to please God. He ain't going to take it. Right. That's lukewarm. He says now. He says I'll spit you. I'll vomit you. Yeah. Out of me. I won't take that. Right. You know, I'd rather take you cold. But he says, we as soldier of God, his body, mm -hmm. body of Christ, stay hot for God. Amen. Yeah. Stay hot. Stay full with God. Amen. With him. He says family storms will come. Health storms will come. Yeah. Marital st uh, storms come. Financial oh, storms God. come. And addiction storms come. And whatever other storms will always be there facing you. Mm -hmm. But you got to know and say, wait a minute. Jesus already defeated the world. Right. What did he use? He used the word. Mm -hmm. So he is the word. And it says the truth is going to set you free. free. Amen. Yeah. So it's going to set us free if we only exercise and do what he tells us to do. Yeah. Amen. I'm going to be free. And I'm going to confess. I ain't going to let anything, any other thing defeat me. But Jesus already defeated these things. Amen. We've all been through these storms. Some of us camp out. Listen. Days, weeks, and some years. How long you been going through this? How long you been sitting? 20, 30, 40 years. I said, my God. You don't know the word. You haven't been practicing the word. 
That's it. Man, he says, just confess it, cast it on me now. Renew your mind with the word of God, and you wouldn't be trapped in this right. 30 years plus. Yes. Amen. Right. Man, that's let's not go there, you know. We don't want to camp out because children of God press on. He says, press on, child. Press on, press on. Yes. We're going. We're not going to camp out. Amen. It says, some of us have camped out. We magnify the storms, the troubles, the cares more than God. Man, how many times you hear that? Uh -huh. We make everything bigger than God. Yeah. And the Bible tells us it's the other way around. Yeah. He's bigger yeah. than anything coming against yeah. you. Amen. God is bigger than any mountain, anything coming against me. That's it. So why are we frightened? He's not giving you a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound yeah, of mind. Yeah, Press it. on, child of God. Yeah. Let's get in the word so we know the truth. And the truth is going to set you free. And start pressing on. That's Quit it. feeling sorry for yourself. Amen. Well, you know, this happened to me. And, and everybody says this. And, and the world said this. And, and everybody's talking against you. You know what? What does God say? Hmm? He loves you. He sacrificed his son. Amen. Yes. And now he says we have to confess his word and be on him, you know, and press on the things of God. Amen. With the things. Hallelujah. It says magnifying him first. Keep going. Okay. Uh, Psalm 46 and 1. I like this one. It says facing troubles, hardships, and problems. God is there to help us. Mm -hmm. God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Amen. Psalms 46 and 1, King James, amen. Woo, hallelujah. God is our refuge, our strength, yes. amen. The very person here in trouble. He's always there. He's not going to leave you nor forsake you. We just need to know where to go. But you know what? The main thing is we need to know where to go in the Word. We got so we can get the Word in us. Mm -hmm. Study, meditate amen. the Word so it can be in you. So you know what? When it goes in, it's got to come out. Mm -hmm. Don't just bottle it and cap it you know last week we talked about uh object lesson we did with the children we used to take coke and just shake it up stir it up real good and then we go around like we're going to open it up and children just ran it all over the place <laughs> well i tell you what when you stir it up child of god and you're going somewhere and you let you pull that plug and you start confessing the word of god enemy has to flee Amen. Yes, they, it has to flee. Yes. It's going to make room. That's it's just it. going to clear, man. You know, That's I'm stirred it. up and think the word of God out of my innermost beings are going to flow rivers yes. of living water. It didn't say dead waters. It said living dead water. Waters. Amen. His word is alive and powerful and mighty. Amen. Woo. Come on now. Amen. Keep going. Oh, we got another one. The Psalms 34.3. All right, here we go. It says, Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Magnify the Lord. We're magnifying him and not the problem. Amen. We're magnifying him and not this troubles. Amen. So let's get this right. This is what the word of God says. Do what the word of God says to magnify him first. Amen. And not the problem. And we get it wrong. We get it. We get it backwards. Let's let's correct this and start catching yourself so you don't do this all the time. Amen. Amen. Fix it. You can fix it, yeah. but you know we're around negative people. Okay. We're, we hear people. We hear things all the time, right, yeah. and we confess what we hear oh. instead of what the word says. And you know another thing he tells us to do is renew your mind often. Yeah. Renew your mind as needed, so that we can start confessing the right things because we're in a negative world. Yes. And you're going to hear these things. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're not. I mean, some of us can't put our cell phones down. And oh, you know, right. the cell phone, <laughs> the TV, oh, anything, the radio, yeah. anything the world can put out, you know, it's going to be negative and you're going to hear it. Yeah. So what do I need to do? I need to get in the Word and then renew my mind with the Word of God so I don't start doing those things and not being distracted yeah. by those things. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Right. Keep going. I like these. <laughs> Here we go. Another thing to magnify him. We everybody knows this. Psalms 104 says what? Enter his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. Uh -huh. Be thankful unto him and bless, bless his, his name. 
Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. I'm excited. I'll go out and more hey. magnify you. You get up first thing in this morning, you know, and just magnify him. Thank you, Lord. Amen. With thanksgiving. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Hallelujah. Let's get, we, we just got to get it right. We've been lived the wrong way, but now, hey, we got to get in there and study and meditate so we know how to do it. Amen. Then we can go teach. Amen. Go show and go minister. Amen. Woo. Keep going. This is good. I like this. Here we go. That's where I'm at right now. Magnify him first. Seek ye first. Matthew 6, 33 and 34 says this. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. And all these things will be added on to you. Amen. He says, so do not worry about tomorrow. Man, I'm worried. What's happening tomorrow? It says, for tomorrow will care for itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Yes. Amen. Yes. Let's not try to multiply that. Mm. Because we're thinking one more, one day, we're thinking two days, a week, a month ahead of time. And you know what? That's just, he says, one day at a time. <laughs> one day at a time. That's, that's all we need. One day at a time. And press on and be with him yes. and be Christ-like, you know, and, and do what he wants us to do. So press it on with him. Don't worry about these things. It says, tomorrow has enough proud troubles of its Amen. own. So let's, let's let it go. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. It says here, the fact that we are saved doesn't mean that trouble will never come our way. When storms come, realize your source. He is our source, you know. Hey, booze, <laughs> drugs, uh, whatever. The world is not our answer. Yes, because yes. I guarantee you, I know I'm going to say this again in a few minutes, but when you come off your high or you come off the booze, the, what do you call it? Uh, whatever. <laughs> when you come off of this mess, you're still going to have problems. Yes. Right? Amen. <laughs> You're still going to have problems. So, you know, forget that. It might be for a short season, for a short yeah. time. But still, yeah. you've got a problem. Yeah. And you yeah. didn't get nothing. Yeah, and <laughs> you got bigger yeah. problems, you know. And you're multiplying these problems. Mm -hmm. And you're hurting yourself. And you're defeating yourself. Mm -hmm. And you're killing yourself. Yeah. You know? yeah. And that's not what God made us to be. He no. didn't put us in this world to be losers that's it. or quitters. He put us in this world to be winners, yes. to be champions. To be children of God, Amen. Yeah. So let's yeah. let's let's remember this. Keep going, Woo, Hallelujah. Now, the King James. This is where we're going to be talking. I'm going to read it to you from the uh, New Living Translation. But the King James says this in James one and verses two through four. It says this: My brethren, count it all joy when you yes. fall into diverse temptations. Again, he's using joy. Remember, a few minutes ago we talked about this is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it. You know, he also tells us in Nehemiah, he says, the joy of the Lord is your strength. strength. Amen. Now here he's talking about, count it all joy when you fall in diverse temptations, when you have problems, when you have troubles. Yes. He says, knowing that this, that the trying of your faith worketh work patience. patience. And let patience have her work, her perfect, perfect, perfect works, mm -hmm. that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. If we can stand on the word, get the word in you, and start living the word. Keep going. The next one is this. King James said, I mean, uh, New Living Translation says, Dear brothers and sisters, when trouble of any kind comes your way, it's going to come. Consider it all opportunity for great joy. <laughs> for you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has chance to grow. Yes. We want to grow and go for Jesus. Amen. Amen. So let it grow. For when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. That's it. So how does he want us to step out? He wants us to step out in faith. Mm -hmm. The children of God, he says, to step out in faith and yes. not fear. If you're not in the word, you're going to be in fear. Amen. And if you're in fear, you're not going anywhere. Right. You're going to stay your ground. You're going to stay and say, I can't do. You know, because... You're not exercising the word. You're not living the word. You're not reading the word, meditating on the word. Yeah. You're going to step out in faith. He says, go. Mm -hmm. and you know what? 
we're going to go. He says, go into all the world. Yeah. He says, he said, be fearful. You cannot go. He says, no. He says, go into uh, all the world yes. and preach the gospel to every yeah. Christian. Every Your Christian. world, you know, it's not across seas. <laughs> Your world is right here where you shop, wherever you live, wherever yeah. you shop, wherever That's your it. world is. Right there is where he wants you to go and Amen. minister to. Okay, so Amen. you're a minister of reconciliation. Which nobody's ever told you. Now you know. Go and, and preach the gospel mm -hmm. to all these people. Preach the truth. You know, this is a, <laughs> the gospel is good news. The yes. world is full of bad news, mm -hmm. sad news. Amen. We are to preach the good news, the gospel. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you. Keep going, Colonel. Glory, glory, glory. So, praise God. Storms, problems, always get our attention. First, realize your source. Who is your source? The bottle of booze, no. drugs, no. friends, world. No. No. <laughs> Jesus, not the world, not booze, not drugs, yes, not is. anything else. When you get sober, that's the word I was looking for a few minutes ago. <laughs> when you're sober, <laughs> you'll find out, wow, I got, still got a problem. It didn't go away. <laughs> You come off your high, you still got problems. Yes. You know, boy, if you want to get high, get high on the most high. high. You That's have it. no problems, no Praise side effects. God. You just feel great. Amen. For life. <laughs> says, cannot get away from it without God. Nothing can take his place. That's it. Amen. Nothing can take his place. You may try to substitute. You may try to all these distractions and the enemy is going to see to it. Remember, the enemy comes and so will do what? Steal, kill, kill, and destroy. And he's going to show you all these nice little things. He's going to use people, friend, so-called friends, to distract you and take you and show you and give you all these negative things mm -hmm. that might make you feel good just for a short season. Mm -hmm. But guess what? <laughs> it ain't going to work. Mm -hmm. It ain't great, greater than God. Amen? The world is hell without Jesus. I yeah, got a couple of... This is my sticker that I have on my on my truck. And it says, it's here without Jesus. You know what I put on there? I says, this world, I added on. It says, this world is hell without Jesus. Amen. Amen. You can write that down. And then you can put it on somewhere where you can see it every time. This world without Jesus is hell. Yeah. This world without Jesus is hell. Hell or is hell without Jesus. Yep. Whichever way you want to say it. I've got another one. Go, go to the next one. It says, I've got Jesus. It's hell without him. Yeah. But I got Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I'm going to walk in peace. And you know what? I'm going to stay in my peace. You may try to come and get me off my peace, but I ain't going to get my peace. I'm going to bring you into my peace. I'm not going to let you drag me into your hell. <laughs> I'm going to drag you into my peace. Amen. Amen. So, whoo, hallelujah. Man, that's that that is that is that is awesome. Yes. We often depend on self. We depend on our skills, our jobs, our families, our friends, our monies. And of course, how can you solve this problem? Hey, I got some booze, won't you come over? <laughs> I got some drugs, won't you come over? No. Amen. Forget it. And the world, you know. Don't depend on these things. Nothing is bigger than God. God is bigger than any problem. Amen. So let's remember this and start walking this way and remember these things. Amen. You know, but let's remember that the world is going to try to distract you. But we got to renew our minds through the things of God. Because if you're a believer and you're not renewing your mind with the word of God, you can fall very easy. You get away from a relationship with our God and you're going to fall. Amen. So let's not do that. Amen. All is well when everything is going comfy. When all is going smooth. <laughs> yeah. When all is going easy. Mm -hmm. Amen. Guess what? When reality comes, they say, hey, yeah. hey you lose your, you're losing your house. Mm -hmm. You're losing your car. You're losing your husband or your wife. Mm -hmm. huh? You're oh, losing. All right now. Okay. Then there's a reality that says, wow. You know, wow. You know, <laughs> come on now. We forget about Jesus, like the mm. prodigal son. Mm. Prodigal son say, "Hey, Dad, I think I got it all this together, you know. So oh. just give me what's mine. I'm gonna blast it out of here." Mm. He went, and you know what? It take him long to lose all what he had, mm -hmm. and he found himself 
Yeah, in the pig pen. In the pig pen. Yeah. <laughs> Eating the pig. He said, wait a minute. I can do better at Father's house. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Father never gave up on you. Because every day the Bible says he went out and built. He was expecting his son to come out. Mm -hmm. He's expecting you. Mm -hmm. You there watching. You there listening. You know, you've been running from God too long. Wow. He sacrificed his son for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Jesus gave his life. Amen. We need to. Acknowledge that yes. and receive him as Lord and Savior Amen. and start serving him. You know, he put you here to do something. He didn't put yes. you here to be a loser. He didn't put you here to be a drunk or a crack addict or something, you know. He put you here to be a child of God and be a winner, to be a champion yes. for him, be to be an overcomer, to be Overcome. a warrior for him. Yes. Not, yeah. not, not, a warrior. Not, not a loser. You, you, mm -hmm. You're you doing that because you put yourself there. Yeah. But that's not God's best for you. No, it's not. Amen. You need to find out what the word of God says mm -hmm. and be the best you can be for him. Yeah. He did his best for you. You need to do your best for him. Yes. Amen. Amen. So the prodigal son finally came to his senses and said, man, I can do better than this when he was down and out. Mm -hmm. You know how many homeless people are out there? Huh. Amen. You don't have to be homeless. You know, they got rich people also yeah. that are drug addicts that right. are yeah. doing all these wrong that's things, it. you know, that's and it. their money can't buy them salvation. That's it. That money yeah. can't buy him heaven. No. Amen. So we got to receive him as Lord and Savior. Yeah. So it's time to start praying <laughs> and just confess him. So Lord, I, I say against you, I repent, come in my life, be my Lord and Savior. And he's not going to turn you down. You no. just got to be able to get those words out of your mouth. That's it. Amen. Start, stop trying to please the world, That's please it. the friends, or whatever. Since you, you, we use him like spare tire. How many times we look, we've heard this? We use him like spare tire. Hmm. Amen. Only as needed. Only in case of emergencies or crisis. Oh yes, Lord. <laughs> By the way, uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm doing this again. I'm doing this again. You know, help me out. He says, dig me out of this one more time and I promise I'll change. Yeah. Mm, yeah. How many times do you think he'd hurt that? Yeah. From so many people. Amen. How many times we've said those things? Amen. But he wants to set you free so that you can stay free. Mm -hmm. Know the word. That's it. And it will make you free. That's It'll it. set you free. Amen. Yeah. But you have to live it. You gotta live yes. it That's and so talk true. it. You know, and walk it, you know. Yes. You just can't sit back. That's You're powerless it. without him. That's it. You have no power, no match to the devil. Mm. Part time believer, no match for a full time devil. Mm -mm -mm. And he knows. And he knows, you know. He says you go around as a lowering lion, seeking who he may devour. How does he know that? Because you're going around confessing the same yeah. old negative things. Same stuff. Amen. You keep opening the door. He just keeps yeah, walking yeah. in. You don't even have a guard. Mm -hmm. he, he just walking in. And he's having, you know, he's, he's having full reign. Yeah. Amen. He's having full control. Yes. No match to the daily storms of life without Jesus. That's it. Amen. We fight a spiritual battle daily in the flesh where no match. We're defeated. That's it. In the spirit world, in the spirit, we win. Yes. In the yeah. spirit, meaning that you're walking with him, you're That's talking right. with him, you're living for him, you're confessing the word, and you're pressing on, and we win. Okay? Yeah. Remember, submit yourself to God, take the authority, use the word, confess the word, and the enemy has to go. Yes. He's going to keep trying to come, but you got to know. <laughs> Greater is he that sent me than he that's in the world. Greater is he that sent me than you, devil. That's it. Amen. And confess it and start walking it and start living it. Realize God is our source of power. We need this source of power. Mm -hmm. You know, in Ephesians chapter 6, he talks about he's given us the whole armor of God. Oh. Soldier of God, we need the armor of God to yeah. press on in this world. Amen. But we got to put it on. Amen. Right. They never does it say to take it off. But if you put it on, Amen. You're going to be powerful through Him. Amen. Amen. And you can do, the Bible says you can do all, all things, things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Have an attitude of gratitude and dependency on Him. Yeah. Trouble, storms, hopefully, will drive us to God and not away from God. That's it. That's Amen. Noah says, well, you know what? I can do better than this. Yeah, you can. Because, <laughs> man, right now you're in a pig pen. Amen. That's it's time it. to change things. And yeah. you can change it. Jesus came that you might have change, that yes. you might have 
more life. A life and have it more, more abundant. abundant. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That you can have salvation. Yes. And salvation is free. Yes, All you need is. to do is confess it with your mouth. Yes. And things change. You, Amen. But you got to start living it and walking it and talking it. Mm -hmm. Amen. And get in a place where you say, Lord, I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Yes. Now start living for Him. Start yes. studying. Start meditating on His Word. And pressing on with the things of God. Amen. Whatever he's called you to do, do it to the best of your abilities. I don't have to compare with nobody else. You know, as a, as a body of Christ, we all have different uh, things, that functions that we do. So I don't Amen. have to copy you. I just yeah, complete. Yeah. We just complete one another yes. as we do ourselves, or as yeah. we do these things in unity. Yes. No disputes, mm -hmm. no copying, just complete one another. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Ooh, hallelujah. Lord, Praise he's God. A good preacher. <laughs> Says, you, unload all excess baggage, uh, including excuses and distractions. Mm. Remember you that? Cast it on him and give it to him. Don't take it back. He wants you to unload on him. I got all this extra weight, you know. Man, I can't go on it another day, man. I'm so got all this weight. Well, why are you carrying it when he told you to give it to him? He says, he just didn't say give it to me. He says, cast it on me. Yes. I mean, throw it on me. Yes. I want it. Because yes. in order for you to fulfill what God wants you to do, you got to be free of all this mess, mm -hmm. of all these extra weights. Amen. Get rid of the devil, all his friends, and anyone or yeah. anything else he uses against you. Yeah. Uh -huh. You got to get rid of it. Amen. Yeah. It says, uh, 1 Peter 5, 7 says what? Casting all, all, all your care upon him. For he cares about you. He, about you. he does more than care about you. He loves you. Yes. <laughs> Since for God so loved the, world, loved the world. That means people <laughs> saved and unsaved. Remember, for God so loved the world mm -hmm. that he came and sacrificed his only begotten son. Amen. And Jesus came and gave himself to be sacrificed. Amen. So now we need to do our share. We need to do our part. I've got a part to do. And you've got a part. And yes. we've all got a part in the body of Christ. But you're not going to fulfill if you are wasting your time and then doing things we're not supposed to and uh, getting rid of all excess weight, getting rid of uh, all friends. Remember I told you so many times, you know, I asked the Lord to help me with my enemies, you know, and I started losing friends. Well, if he takes friends from me, you know, let him go. Don't take him back. But you know what? He's going to bring new friends around you for short season, mid season, or long terms. Still, He's going to bring new people around you. Amen. Amen. So don't try to go back to the old stuff, you know. We're mm -hmm. new creatures in Christ. Yes. The old is gone. The new is in. Yes. So that's what we are. <laughs> Praise God. <clears throat> this is what we do. Submit ourselves to God. Resist the enemy. Amen. Submit ourselves to God. Resist the enemy. And he, he will go. Yes. You know why? Because he's got to obey the word of God. Yes. You confess. What am I doing? I'm confessing the word. So he's, he may not be afraid of you, but he's afraid of the word and yeah. who's backing you. So I'm going to speak the word. And he's got to obey the word. Mm -hmm. And he's got to go. Amen. Nothing is greater than him. Nothing is greater than our God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. James <clears throat> 4, 7 and 8 says, Therefore, submit ourselves to God, resist the devil, mm -hmm. and he will flee, flee from you. Right. Draw close to God, and he will yes. draw near to you. Cleanse yes. your hands, you sinner, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Yes. Let's not be double-minded. Amen. Yes, yes. Amen. We just know and do what the Word of God says and have ourselves focused on him and not the world and what we're missing and get away from these friends that are telling you, you know, man, why do you go to church? Why do you do this? Why do you spend time in prayer? Why do you step in time in the Word? You know you know what you're missing? Man, we, we're having lots of fun going here and going there and doing yeah, this. <laughs> That's okay. You go ahead. Amen. I'll be going up. You'll be going down. Yeah. So, <laughs> James 4, 7 and 8. New, new, new King James. <laughs> Keep going. One Hallelujah. We're almost to the end here. Philippians 4, 6, and 7. New Living Translation says, yeah. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Every, every. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Yes. 
yes. then you will experience God's peace, Amen. which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your heart and minds as Amen. you live in Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 Ooh, man, it's a mouthful. Mouthful, but praise God. Mm. And then uh, King James it says, submit yourself to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw close to God, and he will draw close to you. Yes. I mean, that's what his word says. You draw close to him, he's going to draw close to you. And that's what we want. We need relationship. Yes. That's what Christianity is all about. That's what new birth is all about, mm -hmm. is relationship. We have relationship here. Amen. So draw nigh to, him, draw nigh to God, he will draw nigh to you. Right. Just cleanse your hands, ye sinners, yes. and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. That's it. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. So Philippians 4, 6 says, Don't worry about anything. You stay afraid about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. That's it. Amen. He knows. He knows what you need. Yes. But we have to spend time with Him and we have to ask Him. Amen. Amen. So, hallelujah. Depend on God daily. Depend on Him always Our not just once in a, in a while you know but all the time knows he knows you know, <coughs> you know yourself he knows all your shortcomings yeah and he loves you the most mm -hmm. amen Ooh, hallelujah philippians uh guard your words speak faithful words in your life sounds hard but it's not impossible no excuses just do it it's your yeah. choice amen you gotta get in it you gotta study it and you got to confess it. You get it in so you can get it out. Confess. says confess your word. Speak the word. And if you're going to speak the word, remember uh, in uh, Proverbs 18, 20, and 21, but in Proverbs 18, 21 says this, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Yes. So you got to have a choice to speak positive or negative. And if you're in the world, you're going to speak like the world. And you're going to be negative. And negative things are going to come. But words are seeds, and you're sowing negative seeds in your life. So it's time we stop doing these things. Amen. To start speaking the positive thing, what the Word of God says. If I'm going to speak something, let me speak what the Word of God says, you know, because uh, I know how to say all the negative things. Yeah. And I know how to say all the <laughs> curse words there is. And I can do whatever, but I choose not to. I got to put a guard. I choose to put a guard on me and not let these things come out of me anymore. Delivered from that. Amen. Speak the right thing. Speak the word. Ooh, speak the word. Amen. <laughs> Bible says, well, brother, you don't know what I'm going through. I'm going to say it. Well, you're going to say it. You're going to have it. And it's going to come on you. Why? Because you spoke it. And that's your little garden. You know, it's springtime coming. And you're going to plant, plant your little garden. What do you want coming on your garden? What do you want growing in your garden? Good right. things or bad things? Yeah. Death or life? Mm -hmm. it's, it, it's up to you. It's yes. your choice. Amen. I can't do it. Well, the Bible says in uh, Philippians 4.13 says, I, Jose, can, can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yes. And I can confess this daily all the time. Yeah. I can do all things through Christ. You know, when you, when you see hard things coming, troubles coming, says, troubles will come. Speak the right things. Speak the right words. Amen. And I can do it. Yeah. And I'm going to say the right things. I say, well, you know, this always happens to me. Well, you know, people, this is always coming against me. And confess, confess the problem. Magnify the problem. And you're going to keep having the same old problem. Ignorance, you know, is confessing the right same thing over and over. And getting the same results. When you want to say, confess the right, confess the word. Amen. And things will change. Things have to change because it has to obey. Yes, it has to obey God's word. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Our words are carriers. And they can create power. They have creative power. There's death and life by the power of the tongue. What do you use your tongue for? You use your tongue to speak words. And words. Yes. Here we go. Just, let's stop complaining about the troubles we have and offer thanks. Thanks. For the troubles we don't have. Yes, amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Man, praise God. That's awesome. Most words spoken today are negative words mm. that bring death, that bring trouble, that bring, bring problems. Mm -hmm. Open the doors. It opens the door for the devil to come in. 
Amen. Don't stop giving him a ride. Okay. He wants to come in. He wants a ride. And guess what? We stop all the time and give him a ride. You know, he just jumps in because the door is wide open. Because of the things we've been confessing. So, I'm going to get off this dead horse now. <laughs> we need to start, start speaking the word of God. Somebody needs to hear this. Speak the word of God. We speak the word of God. Amen. Speak the word of God. The truth. Because the truth is going to set you free from whatever is coming against you. Whatever Amen. you're going through. Amen. And the only way to change this is by changing gods. <laughs> Amen. There's maybe lots of gods in this world with a little G. But there's only one God with a big G. Amen. And he's bigger than any other gods. Amen. Amen. And he's bigger than any problems coming against you. Amen. And we're going to be stopping this here in a second here. It says, we're bombarded daily by the negative world. Yeah. Cell phones, <laughs> TVs, internet, newspapers, radios, people, families, friends. We hear these things all the time. Mm -hmm. And just think, all these things, the battlefield is the, the mind. mind. The mind is the battlefield. And this, the cell phones, the TVs, the internet, the newspaper, radios, peoples, you hear these things daily. So that's why it's so important that you renew your mind with the Word of God and say the right things. You know, just because you hear it on the cell phone or you hear it on, on a TV or you hear it on the internet, it ain't true. Yeah. Amen. Or yeah. well, you need to try this. You know, I've done this. Whatever. If it's not, if it's against the word of God, don't do it. Amen. We're try beings, and I'll leave it at this. We're spirit, soul, and body. Our spirit, we got to think the word of God. Our soul, our mind, our will, and our emotions, we need to uh, renew our minds with the word of God. That battlefield of the mind, we got to renew it and yes. change it and, and find out, oh man, I was getting off course. I got to speak the right things, renew my mind so that I can start pressing on in the right direction. Pressing on on the right road. He knows our plans, but we got to stay on his plan. Mm -hmm. We got to stay on his road. Yeah. The Bible says he is the only way, mm -hmm. truth and life. Nobody yeah. goes to the Father except through him. Yeah. So I'm going to stay on this Thank road you. with yeah. him. Amen. I'm, I'm going to stay on this road with him. I don't want no distractions coming against me. If you don't renew your mind with the word of God, Amen. That battlefield of the mind is going to take you to places you don't want to go. Remember about sin? Remember about it'll take you longer than you want to go, cost you more than you want to pay, and stay longer than you want to stay. <laughs> yeah, but that's okay. You, you, you get it. <laughs> it'll keep you and you'll stay, you know, forget it. No. Cost you more, yeah. And, and, and you have this body. <laughs> and this body just wants to be comfy. Mm -hmm. Wants to take it easy. Yeah, yeah. It just wants to be... Uh, 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 wants to be spoiled. Cheaply. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cheaply. <laughs> it, uh -huh. it just wants to easy things, you know. And so don't want to do anything. Just like prodigal son says. I'm just going to go and do my thing, you know. Mm -hmm. But we got to... Bible says, crucify the flesh. Crucify the flesh. If you're not renewing your mind with the word of God... Mm -hmm. The flesh is going to take you over. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the flesh wants to go out. The flesh wants to go do. And the flesh wants to accomplish all these things. So you say, uh-uh. That's not what the Word of God wants me to do. This is what God wants. This is what God wants me to go. This is what God wants me to do. So I'm going to. This is what we're going to do. Amen. We're going to do what God wants us to do. Hey Amen. Did you get something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. It blessed me. I hope it blessed you. Those of you watching, you know, we've been running from God too long, you know. It's time now, you know, to just say, Lord, I've been running too long. It's time to come home. It's time to come back to you. Yeah. You know, so I, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And I want to fulfill and do what is that you want me to do. You have a plan for me. I want to fulfill this plan that you have for me. Mm -hmm. Amen. I want to be a, 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 a strong Christian for you. Amen. And he's going to He's gonna see to it. Amen. So praise God. But you need you do your part. Study to show yourself a food. Get in a place with a, a Bible-based church where they, they teach you the word. Oh, get yourself a Bible, you know. My first Bible was from a thrift store. 
Yeah. And then somebody gave me one, you know, still. Uh -huh. It doesn't matter. You just get the word in yeah, you. Yeah, the yeah. word works That's if it. you get the word in you. That's it. Amen. And so praise God and start living for him. And start living uh, a winning life and not a yes. losing life. Amen. Be a winner, not a quitter. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. If you have sickness in your body, I speak to my body all the time, you know, because my body wants to go through all kinds of aches and pains and malfunctions, you know. So I just say body line up with the word of God. By Jesus Christ, I am healed. Amen. I am healed from head to toe. No malfunctions in this body. Amen. I speak healing over my body. In Jesus' precious name, I receive it. Body receive it. And start doing right in Jesus' name. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> time to give. Go to our website, NBCBigBen.com. It should be on your screen. Uh, mailing, uh, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And Cash App, just go to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. God loves you, and we love you. Praise God. Amen. Amen. <clears throat>